But hey, at least we didn't stay too long on that crystal challenge. That's another challenge I would expect of, you know, taking a couple tries, but oh well. All right, this Warp Room exclusive and another game category, Ring Ding. Now these categories of games actually switch it up, so they're not for the same thing. But if you saw there, you saw balloons. But this is the only category that has all four games being completely different. This is what's called uh, Medieval Madness. Burst your own balloons to score, jump to score, to score, and then jump to burst balloons. Win by being the player with the highest score when time runs out. Press the square button to attack other players and press the X button to jump. Collect power-ups from inside the special crates. Uh, hover boots allow you to move freely in any direction and uh, the, the vacuum attract balloons towards you. Burst black balloons to affect the action. Burst other players' balloons, change the ring's direction, or it changes all balloons to your color. So it's always helpful to try and pop the black balloons, especially getting the uh, power-up crates. And especially uh, knocking your players off their feet, the other players off their feet. Okay, the vacuum. Now all the, uh, all the balloons of my color will be attracted to me. But one thing to keep in mind, whenever you have a power-up, expect the other players to come towards you. They're going to try and really come at you. Oh, if I had the vacuum, that been this would have been so much helpful. That would have been so helpful if I had the vacuum. Okay, I got the hover boots so I can go in any direction. And the funny thing is the AI will still go for different balloons. But if you touch the uh, balloon that is not your color, you'll get stunned for a little bit. As you see the other, as you see, uh, judging by the uh, AI, they'll get stunned for a little bit. Ow! Yeah, well that happened to me, because I touched a red balloon. Ah, oh, I changed the balloons at the last second. Shut up, Rillaru. I'd love to have my balloon, all the balloons my color so I can use the vacuum. Ah, oh, but he's got the vacuum. Are you kidding me? Another thing I find annoying is that the AI seems to get all the good stuff happen. So yeah, sometimes the uh, balloons can go a different direction. Like as you see, judging by the uh, platform. I won that one. <laughs> and everyone else just shrinks. The losers shrink. Unfortunately, this is another game that is all just time-consuming and nothing more. Yeah, I wonder how these players are able to move faster. I wonder if they're just using the speed of the platform to their advantage. That's what's making them go fast. I'm not exactly sure, though. But yeah, whenever you get a power-up, expect the AI to be gunning for you. Yeah, Rilla Roos is gunning for me. He's so fast, too. And another trick to help you, uh, you know, make sure you're under a balloon is to use the shadow. Ow, Cortex, you idiot. Utilize the shadow to help you where you're at. Ow, Cortex, you little... A vacuum? Seriously? Well, it was moronic of him to pick that up. Or it was stupid enough. Moronic. <laughs> Come on, get that black balloon. Thank you. Ow, Rilla Roo. Get over here. Oh well, it didn't matter. I win. <laughs> I do want to spin into these guys and pay back for them spinning into me. Oh, come on. Shut up, Kong. I don't want to hear you. Ow! Rilla Roos spun into me. I'll spin into him. What's going to be this time? Ah, Kong picked it up. Sucker. Aw, oh, vacuum. Uh, what? Cortex took it from me, but it didn't matter. Cortex got the vacuum again. 
I need to start scoring, man. But not everything is coming right next to me. I would love it for it to do that, though. I'd really appreciate that if it were to happen. All these balloons would come towards me. Ah, I was right underneath that other one. Get rid of that vacuum, Kong. Come on, turn the balloons my color, please. Thank you. Ah. Vacuum, seriously. Ooh, a vacuum! Give me that! Big points right there. That helped me big time. Well, an easy trophy. I mean, sure, it did kill like about five minutes to get it, but oh well. And like always, we'll do the gem and crystal challenges. These will be the last gem and crystal challenges in the main game. In the main uh, few warp rooms. And of course, we got the extra levels that will come out at the end of the game. But there's some that won't be unlocked until we get the uh, relics. That's when the relics will come into play. Alright, gem challenge. When am I beating the first to decrease your score within a minute 25 seconds? So the handy difference is 30 to 25. So I'm going to have to really try and hopefully I get my balloons all the same color and get a vacuum. Because that's what really will help me out. I know, getting those boots. Come on, touch the balloon for goodness sake. Ow. Dang it, man, come on. On. Change them to my color. What? I thought he had. I thought he had more points than that, man. Come on. Let's see what this is. A vacuum. Now I'm just playing a little keep away from them now, since I got the dank vacuum. I was just playing. Com Completely playing, you know, keep away. Vacuum again. Ah, but the dank cortex changes balloons to red. What an idiot. Ow. Ah, oh, come on! Come on, why don't they change to my color? I need that to happen. Change to my color, please. I'd love that to happen, but it's not happening. Thank you! Ah! Oh, jeez! I cannot do anything! Because of all that. Come on. This should not be happening. This should not be happening. I don't think I've ever struggled with this one. Or I can't remember. I think the points uh, are, are increased to like two in this. In this. I'm not sure how the uh, uh, points are going down. But I think it's, you know, not just one point going down for every balloon you, you pop. Ah! You idiot, Kong, you picked up the vacuum. Why don't the balloons ever change to my color? They're all just changing to theirs. Vacuum. Thank you! This is why I wanted it to happen. Of course, they would hit me like that. Idiots.
Ah! And he turned his balloons to his color. Stop popping the balloons on me! I need them to change into my color. Oh my goodness, so much going on. I cannot even focus. Oh, thank you! Oh, barely! Five seconds to spare and Kong had one point left. I have no idea what's causing the extra points to be going down. I wonder if it's me just busting the black balloons, but I don't know if that should count, though. I have no idea. I never could figure that out. Well, I need to do some research after this. <laughs> Crystal challenge. I need to do some research on this stage and how you can get the extra points to go down. Because something tells me it's more than just busting your own color balloons to get the points. I may be missing something. Change in scenery. Avoid bursting balloons that are not your color. Yeah, that's the deal with this crystal challenge. Do not burst any of the other player's balloons. So you're gonna have to be careful with this one. Like for instance, if you were to uh, pick up like a black balloon for a vacuum, you're gonna wanna be careful. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. <laughs> Ow. Oh no, a vacuum. Oh, man, he changed it at the last second. Ah, uh, yep, you gotta be careful in this one. You gotta really be careful. Ow! Really rude, get out of here. Yeah, they're all just ganged up on me because I have the stinking vacuum. But still, I think they can go a bit faster than me. Even if I were to use the direction of the platform, they're still faster than me. That's what I that's what it seems like. They're still faster. They're still faster than me. I think I'll just stay like this, because I think I'll get the win. Got it! Yeah! You win. Just had to try and play it safe. Alright, we got it. Alright, that's all the gem and crystal challenges we can do. Like I said, I'll save the, the uh, relic challenges for later. All that's left is the final boss. Here we are. Oxide Ride. Thank goodness you have made it this far. I now believe Uka Uka has been fooling us. You must succeed in the final challenge before I can safely hide the crystals you have won. You know, I wonder what the purpose of the crystals were this whole time. I wonder if it's treating us like it was Crash Bandicoot 2, The Wrath of uh, Cortex Strikes Back. It's like saying, uh, oh, Cortex was fooling Crash to thinking that crystals was the source of saving the world, but really it was just him for another plot for world domination by Cortex, just a fool with Crash. All right, as you can obviously tell by the name Oxide Ride, uh, Nitrous Oxide is back from Crash Team Racing as the final boss in uh, Crash Bash as well. Chase and defeat Ox Nitrous Oxide. So there are two phases to this one, like a Big Bad Fox. The first phase is the chase sequence. And 
no, you don't try to shoot him down. I mean, of course, you can shoot your lasers at him, but the lasers are just mainly used to uh, get rid of the obstacles. And over time, he's going to shoot missiles at you. These missiles can be pretty tough to dodge, and the walls can really leave a lot of damage if you're not careful. That was bad right there. But trying to go into super evasive maneuvers to avoid the missiles can be really, really troublesome. In fact, I think you have to go through two waves of missiles. And if you're not careful, they can do a pretty big amount of damage on you. Okay, so that's one. Ah, it didn't even shoot down the mines. Now he's gonna lay down a couple of nitros. I mean, of course you can shoot them, but they're no problem to dodge. Ah, oh, that stupid mine. I think we were almost at the end, because he does two waves of rockets. If you make it through that second wave, then you're then you're done with this phase. And I don't know if you can get, actually defeat Nitrous Oxide in a single try. You're going through both phases like you can in Big Bad Fox. Well, Big Bad Fox is a lot easier, no, no doubt about it. Okay, no damage so far. So far, so good. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so yeah, they're using the dot dash theme in this one as well. The remake of Dingle Dow's music. I hate these set of mines right there. I hate these mines. Okay, there we are. <sighs> Just a couple of health to spare. So we're done with the first phase. And this is a checkpoint too. Uh, the planet Gasmoxia is where nitrous oxide is from. He, he shows that in uh, the ending of Crash Team Racing. He goes back to the Planet Gas Moxie as a complete loser. But now we're in the ballistics phase of the Nitrous Oxide boss. So the deal with this is he'll have a lot of challenges for you. Uh, over time, he'll have missiles coming to shoot you. Avoid the missiles. And over time, the uh, red balls can come onto the stage. Avoid the red balls. So whenever a ball passes through each player, they take damage. Now it's just ping-ponging back and forth. I hate it when that happens. Come on, you stupid missiles. So it's just three sets of missiles right there. And it's really tough trying to get a single ball to even get past Oxide. It's pretty difficult to even do that. Yep, there's a special ball right there. Ah, of course you don't want to touch them. And as you can see, it's tough to get them past Oxide. So Oxide is a real challenge. He's a pretty challenging boss. Oh, I actually got it past him in the early going. That's not bad. Just wish were, they were a bit easier. Oh, what? That red ball just... That red ball just landed on top of me. Why do the ball physics... Why do the ball mechanics do that? Why do they do that? That is nonsense. That's complete shenanigans. I let them both pass me so easily. This phase always frustrated me every single time I go through this. It always frustrates me. There's so much stuff I have to avoid. It's tough to keep, you know, concentrate. So much stuff to avoid. But come on, we're at the final boss. Let's finish him. Let's just finish him. Ugh. Why that to make it so tough to get a single ball to get past Oxide? I mean, I understand it's the final boss, they want to make him challenging, but this is ridiculous!
come on, I'm letting so many of the balls pass me. Having to avoid every single thing else. Yep. Oh my goodness, man. This is... I forgot how crazy this is. Personally, I think this is a bit too crazy for a final boss. It should have been like a different, you know, different category of a game instead of the ballistics games. The game type that I hate the most. Ha, huh, I got two easy balls past him. Not bad so far. Ah, uh, three? I forgot the exact number that's required to uh, eliminate Oxide. But so far, we're at a good start. Ah! How did that ball get past me? No! Oh, what?! Ah, oh, man. I'm having a hard time focusing. I don't know why. Well, this is another case of having to do another couple of attempts and skip it. Ha! Got him! Sweet. Ah, another one. Not bad. <laughs> Back to where we were. <laughs> Three, four, I think that was five, six, come on, he's almost down, get him, get him, please, there he goes, that's it, take that, Oxide! Damn right. So that's the main story of Crash Bash, and we're not even done yet. <laughs> we're already in the credits, and we're not done yet. <laughs> so, so now we'll be able to have the chance to play the extra stages in the fifth warp room, which we'll see here in a little bit as we get done with the credits. But, I can't believe we're already at this point, but still it's a pretty good ride, but I probably shouldn't, you know, say all the, you know, like I'm, exiting this game like this, even though we're at the credits. <laughs> I mean, we're not even done, but... Uh, but if you were to go through this game with co-op with somebody, like, say, one person is a good guy, like, say, someone is Crash, and then your partner or friend is uh, Cortex, if you go through the game and defeat Oxide with both, uh, you know, with uh, both a good and a bad guy, uh, the ending will, you know, won't play out. Because the thing is, you have to battle to... You have to battle against each other on that checkered board that you saw there uh, that was moving underneath in the uh, cutscene. That checkered board, you fight on that checkered board in a crate crush match. And uh, whoever wins will decide the ending. Like, say, if Crash won the rounds, then he'll get the then the uh, good ending will play. And if Cortex were to get the rounds, then the evil ending will play. So it's pretty interesting. Because the cutscene kind of goes like, uh, No! This cannot... This shall not stand. We both made it through the games, but Crash and Cortex are together. This should not be. <laughs> I mean, of course, that's not exactly how it goes, but it's just an example. <laughs> but now we're going to have to start uh, collecting the relics to unlock the rest of these games. There are only two uh, stages that require the unlock of the relics. 
so. But still, it's going to be quite a bit to go through. And I don't know if I'll show through the entire state, you know, all the stages again. I'll just show all the attempts that I get in terms of getting the, the relics. Because the relics are a bit different than all the challenges that we've been doing up to this point. I mean, but it's good to be going back in this game from now on then. It's still fun in my books, even though it's not the greatest uh, crash game or just party game in general. I still wish they made it like Mario Party to where they add some complete variety to every single one of their games. But it's still good nonetheless. And here we are in the fifth warp room. So as you can see, we got a couple more uh, stages available to us. Except this one's not available to us, this one's not available, and this one's not available. And like I said, this is where the relics will come into play. So I'm going to have to uh, go back into the first warp room and get to whatever relics I feel like going for. I mean, of course, I'll obviously do the Polar and uh, uh, Cray Crush relics, because I think they're the easiest ones to go for. But since we just defeated the final boss, uh, Nitrous Oxide and all that, I think it's time for a little break.